Hi, this is Todd with the ALS 411 on using a PC to control a mobile phone. I had an iPhone and I was using Siri, but I had some difficulty with that. I could send a text message to somebody, but if the dictation wasn't correct, I'd have to erase the message and start over, and that was a bit frustrating. I could also make a phone call and I could set the phone to automatically use a speaker phone, but I wasn't able to hang up or if I called the company where it required some prompts to um, punch in some numbers, it wasn't able to do that. And I wasn't able to use any other applications on the phone uh, just by using my voice uh, because I am a quadriplegic. I'm not able to use my hands at all. So I could only use my voice. I looked for some solutions with the iPhone to be able to control it with a PC. I wasn't able to do that. I eventually found a solution for an Android device. And that required me to uh, trade in my iPhone for an Android. I originally got a Samsung device, but it was a lower end Samsung. And for that, I had difficulty using Google Assist. If I said, hey, Google, the phone just simply didn't respond. And I found out that the reason is there's a chipset that's required to listen when it's asleep. Um, so I had to trade in that low-end Samsung device, and I eventually got a Google Pixel, which I have here. This has that chipset, so it listens to me even when it's asleep. I could have also purchased a high-end Samsung device. That would have worked well, too. Um, but with this device, when it's asleep, I can say, hey, Google, and it gives me numbers, and I can use those numbers then to control the phone. So I'll say four. Four. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Now, if I were not at my computer, I could use that to make a call uh, or to send a text message. Um, but now that I'm on my computer, I can also control the phone directly on, directly from my computer. To do that, you need to install a, uh, a driver on your computer and you need to change some settings on the phone. And I'm not going to go through all of that, how to do it, but I'll leave a link in the description below. And you open up the software, you view the device, and now I'm seeing on my PC what's on my phone. And from there, I can send text messages. So if I were to send a text message to Kristen, controlling my computer um, through my uh, with with my head mouse and my sip and puff clicker. And if you're not able to um, use those, you, there's other devices like eye gaze devices where you can use it. So I can send a message here. Their message sent. Or I can make a phone call. So I can call. Or I can call my home phone. I can turn it on speaker. Or I can disconnect the call. And that gives me a lot more uh, confidence that I'll be able to get a hold of somebody if I if I need help right away, or I can initiate calls um, to companies and I can use the keypad to punch in numbers to get customer service or anything like that.
So that is how you can control a mobile device through your PC. I hope that helps. If you like this video, subscribe. We'll post other helpful videos when topics arise. And also follow our blog on nevastory.com. Thanks and have a great day.